Hey everyone and welcome to the AI Syndicate channel. Since a few of you asked, this video is a quick and easy tutorial on how to use the open source code for Make It Talk, which I used for the video AI Can Make Anybody Talk. If you guys haven't watched that video, please check it out. I explain the key concepts behind the technique for the people that are more interested in the theory behind these things. Link to that video will be in the description or on the video somewhere if I can figure it out. But anyway, let's get into it. First things first, we need to go to the author's repository, which is again linked in the description. Nowadays, a lot of these repositories that implement papers are very well organized, making the life of people like us who want to play around with the implementations easier. And this is definitely no exception. So in here, we will go to the collab demo. Now before getting into actually how to use Collab, I should quickly explain what Collab is. A lot of you have probably come across Collab before, but anyway, a lot of these papers I read or cover or at least plan to cover in the innovation showcase part of the channel are on the research end of the spectrum. Which means usually they aren't production applications, they are more researchers sharing their latest cutting edge algorithms and what they are capable of. Now, naturally, to actually play around with these, there probably is a barrier to entry. You need a good machine, need to be at least a little bit code savvy. But Google Colab is basically a virtual machine where you can execute Python in the browser. And what is really cool is that they give you free access to GPUs, which honestly, when I started learning AI, Colab didn't exist and I had a 10-year-old MacBook with no GPUs. So a lot of the times I couldn't even try out the code on my local machine. So Collab or any other such service is definitely a blessing for us AI enthusiasts that want to get our hands dirty with the cutting edge. The other thing is that usually when setting up projects locally, you need to make sure you have all the dependencies installed and that you follow all the setup steps. In Collab, you can directly share the notebook which has all the dependency installation steps as shown here. So it saves a lot of the headache. If you see these demos on repositories, thank the author since it really helps. Anyway, I digress. Back to the tutorial. From here it's really easy. The authors provide instructions as well, but I will walk through it anyway. First off, we need to click runtime and go to change runtime type. And in here, we need to make sure that we have hardware accelerator GPU selected. Cause trust me, we need it. Now, just to quickly explain what the code is doing, each of these cells are responsible for some block of logic that needs to be handled. And the good thing about Python notebooks is that you can mark down to make things more explainable. So as you can see here, we are doing all the installations. Each of these cells will run. Then we download the pre-trained models, since we are only doing inference here, not training. Then import packages and do all the basic setup. Before we move on to the setup, we should run all the cells before the setup cell. We do that by clicking the setup cell, going to runtime and run before. This will make sure that we clone the repository and have all the installations ready to go. Now in this setup block, you can change things such as the picture you want to animate. So by default, they have the paint boy, but you can change it to anything you want. Now, which images can you actually change it to? Anything that lives in the example folder here on the left. The reason I know that is since it says here in the code, and if you wanted to change it to a different directory, this is where you would do it. But we will stick to examples for this video. Now, there are a bunch of great examples here but I did use some other images and you guys might want to as well. So let me show you how to do that. So here is the image of our president, Mr. Biden, that I used in the intro. First things first, and this step is really important. You need to resize the image to 256 by 256 pixels, since that is the size the model works with. So I will show you how to do that real quick. This is the image I downloaded. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it into a square. Then I will resize it to the size I want. Now 
Now I am on Windows and I'm using the default photos application for this. But if you are on Macintosh or any other OS, you can look up how to resize or crop images on any other software. It should be really easy. Now that we have that done, we upload it to Collab. We drag it into examples. Now I change the name here from Paint Boy to Biden without the JPG as they say. And this should be the image name that you are using. So we are all set here. Now there are a couple of other setup steps here that you can do if you want to tweak and play around with the outputs. But we're going to leave it at default for now. Now how about the audio that you want the talking head to say? You need to upload that to examples as well. Super easy. I have my intro from the video. Just going to drag that in. And the way they have the code set up is that they make the animated video for all the WAV files in the example folder. You can change that, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. So now we have everything ready to go. All we have to do now is run the cells. There are a couple of ways we can do that. Either you can run each cell individually, or you can just go to runtime run all. But since we already cloned the repository and ran all the cells before setup, we can just click the setup cell and run after. That's what I will do. And now we just let it do its thing. It's pretty damn fast. And just like that, we have the video synthesized. Let's play through it to make sure. Hi everyone, and welcome to the AI Syndicate channel. Today we have a couple of my very close friends that are awesome. Now you can download it and do with it as you wish. A quick note for the audio, try and make it as clear as possible and make sure it's a WAV file before you upload. Also, as you can see in this image, the mouth is slightly open. So this is what I meant by you can tweak the setup and play with the output. So you can go into setup, change close input face mouth to true, and then regenerate. And you can change any of these as you see fit until you are happy with the output. That's it for the tutorial. Hope that was clear enough to follow along. If there are any questions, do write them in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer. And of course, like and subscribe to the channel if you find this helpful. Until next time.